Hi there, welcome back. Split screens can be a great help to tell a story, like we see in many movies and TV shows. This time, we are going to look at a few options to create split screens in DaVinci Resolve and show you some of the basic techniques to animate split screens together with their borders. Here in the edit page, I've already got a couple of clips on the timeline. If we just need a simple side-by-side -side split screen, we can use the basic video transform settings. Move the second clip on top of the first one. Turn on the transform control in the viewer. Move the clip to one side. When you drag to move the clip, holding the shift key can lock the change in one direction. In this case, we only want to change the X position. Select the bottom clip, reposition the clip to center the part we want to show. But the video on the right side is not centered. Select the top video. Change the on-screen control to crop. Crop the video from left. Reposition the clip, so it takes half of the view on the right side. To have a border between the two clips, select the bottom clip. Make sure it's still in the crop mode. Crop the image from the right, so the two clips are separated by a black border. If we want to change the border color, we can add background underneath. For example, add a solid color clip and change the color to white. Next we can add the third video to the split screen. Move the clip to the top. Resize the video. Move the video to the bottom right of the screen. Select the second clip. Adjust the position. To also have the border between them, change to crop mode. Crop the bottom of the second clip until we see a white border. We can adjust the cropping and position to have the screen equally splitted. OK, this looks good. Using the similar approach, we can also create a split screen with three clips side by side. These are the basic split screens using the standard video cropping and transforming functions in DaVinci Resolve. This method is simple and easy, but requires a bit of patience to position and crop. It's nearly impossible to apply animation effects on these screens because of the way they are created. And you can only create split screens of rectangle shapes. Next let's see how to create some split screens with diagonal shapes. We will be using the same clips for this demo, and they are already put together on top of each other. From the effects panel, drag the essential mask and apply to the clip on the top. Enable the fusion overlay. Resize and rotate the mask. Something like this. Go to the effect panel, set the shadow strength to zero. Move the mask to the left, so it takes a third of the screen. Copy the clip. Select the second clip in the middle. Press Alt V or right-click to paste attributes. In the Paste Attributes window, make sure the Fusion Effects option is checked. Press Apply. Now we have the mask effect applied to the middle clip with the same settings. Move the mask to the right to show the image of the second clip. We can adjust the position of each mask to split the screen equally. Select the last clip. Reposition the image to center the view. Great, we now have a split screen with diagonal borders. To animate the split screen, simply apply push transition at the beginning of the two clips on the top. But at the beginning, we see a part of the image is black. That's because we moved the image to fit the final split view. Move the playhead to the end of the transition. Make sure the bottom clip is selected. In the inspector, mark a keyframe for the position parameter. Go back to the beginning. Change the position X to zero. 
and a new keyframe is created automatically. The image is now filling the full screen. Play the timeline, and we still see a bit of black screen at the beginning of transition. Because the bottom clip is moving too soon. Click this little icon to show keyframes. Move the starting keyframe to right until the empty screen is gone. Great, this looks good. We can also change the ease option of the transition on the second clip to in and out, so that the whole animation looks a bit more dynamic. This is how we use the mask effect in the edit page to create animated split screens. With this approach, it's easier to control the position of split screens and borders. Animation can be also achieved easily with transitions and keyframes. The challenge here is that there are no measurable ways to split the screens equally. Also, we cannot create split screens like these ones with this masking method. This leads to our final approach, which is the most accurate and flexible way to create split screens in DaVinci Resolve. Once again, we already have the clips ready on the timeline. Apply the radial wipe effect to the clip at the top. Go to the effects tab in the inspector. By default, we have a fan out mask of 45 degrees, starting from 90 degrees, wiping clockwise. Change the wipe angle to 180, so we have a straight border. Change the start angle. 70 is good. We now have a split screen with two clips side by side, we know it's equally splitted, because the center point is right in the middle. Select the second clip, and go to the video tab in the inspector. Change the position to show the center of the image. OK, we now have a side-by-side -side split screen with a diagonal border. To change the border color, select the top clip and go to the Effects tab. The border color can be easily changed using these parameters. To continue for a three-column split screen, select the top clip. In the Effects tab, Change the center X to 0 0.666. Make a copy of the clip. Select the second clip in the middle. Press Alt V or right click and choose Paste Attributes from the menu. In the Paste Attributes window, check the Fusion Effects option. Click Apply. With the second clip selected, go to the Effects tab. Change the center X to 0 0.333. The screen is now split into three parts. Go back to the video tab. Reset the position to the center. Select the clip at the bottom. Reposition the image to bring in the center. OK, now we have a split screen with three columns equally splitted. Similarly, we can apply the push transition to the clips on the top. This time instead of push left, we set the transition to push right. Again, like we did earlier, keyframe the bottom clip to animate the position. We can even delay a bit for the third clip by moving it right by a few frames. This looks great. Next, we will create a split screen like this. Apply the radial wipe effect to the top clip. In the effects tab, set the wipe angle to 120. If we set animation time to something greater than zero, such as 15, we will have an animated wiping effect applied to the split screen. Copy the clip. Select both clips underneath. Right-click the middle clip, select Paste Attributes. Make sure the Fusion Effects is checked. Click Apply. 
Select the middle clip and go to the Effects tab. Change the angle to minus 30. Change the center point so that the borders are seamlessly merged. Go to the Video tab. Change the position to center the image. Select the bottom clip. Set the angle to minus 150. Adjust the center point to match the borders. Go to the Video tab and center the image. Great, we now have a split screen with animated wiping effect. If we stagger the clips, the animations will run in the clockwise order. Alright, that's all for today. As usual, you can download the templates used in this tutorial through the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.